What a crazy week this has been. And this is the Weekend Edition. This video is good through Sunday, October 19, 2014. And the markets have been insane. On Friday, on Friday, the markets go bullish. At one point, the Dow is up over 300 points, a huge, huge rally. We've been talking about expecting last few days and rounding out the week on a big bullish move. And we'll talk about those predictions and what panned out. Um, thing that of interest here, and the reason I'm pulling it up, Russell's negative territory. Small caps down, banks down. Warning sign, warning sign, warning sign. If you are not, if you if you haven't liked us on Facebook yet, I highly recommend that you do that because I put out a warning. Make sure that you guys get hedged before the end of the day. You want to protect those longs so you're not giving back all those profits. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. VIX did drop almost 13%. We're still above 21 or actually at 22. All right, let's get into technical analysis on the S&P of 500. Big drop, 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 drop. People were buying up. If you notice, this is Friday, Thursday, and Wednesday. Wednesday, big, big drop, but we rallied back. People were buying up that weakness. Same thing happened here on Thursday. Big drop, people buying up that area. And I participated big time on the long side, and and I did you know exceptionally well to end up the week here. Did very very well in the markets. As we got up here, if you guys remember, a lot of you guys watch the video every day. Kudos to you guys. So you will remember me saying that now watch for a pop, but look for this red line, this 1900 to be a resistance point. Sure enough, on Friday, that's exactly what happened. We came up, tested that area, smart money, sold into this, down, 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 down. I'm one of them who hedged themselves when we got near this number. I wanted to be hedged, hedged, hedged uh, going into the weekend so I could sleep like a baby and rest stress-free. So I'm hedged in the markets, just meaning that I have shorts that are playing against my long positions, protecting me. I don't care if the market crashes and burns or rallies up. It won't hurt me one iota. I will unload my hedge or add to my hedge, depending on what I see on Monday. If this thing starts to crash and burn, I'm gonna big time add to that short position, start peeling off my longs, because I do have trailing stops on those. And if we do go big time bullish, I'm gonna quickly unload my short hedge and let the longs that I have drift higher and higher and higher looking here at a weekly chart you'll see the week we came down 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 big drop big drop we came screaming back what's interesting here and i said this was very very important on the weekly chart that we got above this trend line not only did we get above it we got above the 50 week moving average now we are at hammer time so we got a big juicy hammer here looking for a confirmation move to the upside. We do have uh, resistance in front of us here. So I could see an immediate pop and then a drop commencing. And then on the monthly, now this was huge, gang. I was telling you as we crash, 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 crash. If in one month here, we've given back gains going back to the beginning of 2014. So I'll tell you, we gave up almost all the gains for the entire year in one single month, and it's October. Does that surprise any of you who've been in the markets for any amount of time at all? Probably not. We came down here, tested that what I call minor trend line. This is what we'll teach you in Vegas at the mentorship. Very important to know how to draw these, when to draw them, and how to analyze them. Came down, touched this. This was the time to be looking for long positions. We added those longs and got more bullish as we got above this trend line, boom, benefited from all of this. So we, this was a big red candlestick. Now this is a lower shadow 
and there are a ton of traders who made a killing on that lower shadow. Smart Money did, and that's something that we certainly can teach you how to do. And you know what's interesting is if we could teach you to simply make uh, 50 cents on one trade for a thousand shares, that's $500, $500. You, if you were to do that once a day and take if, for a full year and take off, let's say take off uh, a full month of vacation, you are looking at six-figure income. How do we, 50 cents a day on a thousand shares. Actually, if you did 10 cents a day on a thousand shares, 10 cents. It's a dollar a day. Do that each week. Five hundred dollars a week. Two thousand dollars a month. Think about that. It's all about making money, not losing it. Always averaging on the plus side. All right. So looking here at the Nasdaq monthly chart. Big drop, 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 drop. We come back. See this trend line coming across right here. I said that was a very important one. For us to get back above, we went right to that area of support. Very interesting to see. On the weekly chart, hammer time above the 50-week moving average, just like we saw on the S&P 500. Look for a rally. We could get a nice little pop here if we do get that pop going in the next couple weeks. I see this area right there being resistance and selling the puddings out of the puddings out of the NASDAQ at 4,400. Boy, that would be a juicy, juicy short right there. That would give us our head and shoulders on the weekly chart. On the daily, popping up here, but this could be a bear pullback with a big immediate drop. So this is something you gotta be careful of, especially going to the 200 day sample moving average is resistance. You wanna be very, very careful here if you are long in the markets and um, a lot of tech stocks did exceptionally well. Apple popped up, hit resistance, but I'll tell you, it's too late to go long. Uh, let's see, uh, Facebook, boom, to the upside. Facebook is one of our big winners on our bull list. This is on our fundamental bull list on our Stock Picks V newsletter. That's just killing it right now. Google is down 2.6%, big drop um, with huge volume on Friday, ouch to Google. GoPro is up almost 3%, but nothing there. Microsoft was up 2%, trying to get some legs, but you got to be careful. Um, nothing else, but let me, I'm going to give you some bull lists. All right, get ready to write this down. Get out a pencil and paper, write these down, R-E-G-N, R-E-G-N, that is our top winner on Friday, far as our bull list is concerned. This is something that uh, people pay big money for. They pay a dollar a day for our stock picks, <laughs> our weekly stock picks. Big volume, big pop, just on Friday alone was up well over 8%, 8.5% rally. I already showed you Facebook, Facebook was up almost 5%. SMCI, big pop here. Wow, specialist behavior play there. Advanced thing, that is a telltale sign. I missed that one. There's something here that only mentor mentees um, know. Uh, we'll teach you that in Vegas. This is very, very powerful. I missed that. I missed this 4%, uh, probably a little more. I would have probably had that uh, 6 8% off of that one run. Wow. Um, MHFI, more specialist behavior here. Interesting, big pop, big volume, everything looks great. Interesting. So how about on the bulls or bear side? We have a bear list too. So on our bear list side, these are all fundamentally very weak. Guess GES, GES has been crashing and burning. 27, now it's down to 20. Breaking down, ouch, MTV was down almost 3%, just crashing and burning. These are all fundamentally weak stocks, and these are our big uh, winners on the short side. This one looks like it's getting ready to start a big drop. Um, R, P, R, P, D, O, Diamond Offshore. Oh, bear pullback, huge bearish and golfing pattern. This will... This looks like it's gonna crash and burn. If the markets start to crash and burn, watch this thing just fall out of the sky. So 
we do some cool things but the big thing i want to tell you about is i want to lock arms with you i want to teach you how to trade i did not used to be an educated trader i thought i was educated I blew through two accounts. Then I went and got formally educated, had a mentor, and killed it ever since. Been trading over 16 years. We will be here to teach you the latest and the greatest when it comes to trading in the markets to make fat cash. So how can that happen? By signing up to be a mentor student. And listen, I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to buy your airline ticket long as long as it's under $500. And I am going to give you a great discount on a four-star hotel, a price that you cannot touch anywhere else there in Vegas. It is a great deal. So I'm making it very, very easy for you. All you have to do is get a hold of Carolina at grocktrade.com. Say I'm interested and go through the three-day program. And by the time you're done, you're going to be a trading rock star. Um, I highly recommend that you Google Grok Trade Mentorship on the internet. Look for reviews. Put in Grok Trade Reviews. You know, put in whatever you want. Look for um, reviews. Go to our website. Watch videos of people who um, gave us videos, testimonials. But the next few moments here, I'm going to show you what you can expect if you sign up with us. You're going you're gonna to sign up. You're going to fly into Vegas. You're going to go to the hotel. We're going to uh, carpool to the conference um, the conference room for our training. It's a great time. All right. I'm done babbling. Thank you, guys. See you in Vegas. Catch you later.